This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of our renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is a Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. So far, I have explained the effects of different planets in houses right from Aries to Aquarius. I have also explained the favorable and unfavorable dashas for the native of Aries ascendant, Taurus, etc. till Capricorn. Aquarius is the 11th house of the natural zodiac that is Kala Purusha. First of all, I am going to explain the significance of the native of Aquarius ascendant, Aquarius Rashi and I am also going to explain that which planets major planetary period will let the native of Aquarius ascendant to lead a good life, which planets should be strong for the native of Aquarius ascendant to lead a fortunate life, whose major planetary period and which planets can deliver benefits so that the native of Aquarius ascendant can live a luxurious life. Let me start with explaining about the native of Aquarius Ascendant. I have mentioned that Aquarius is the most significant of all in the natural zodiac. The intricacy behind this is that no planet could be a complete functional benefit to the native of Aquarius Ascendant. The native of Aquarius Ascendant or Aquarius Rashi is such a significant one. Only for the native of Aquarius Ascendant or Aquarius Rashi, no planets function as a complete functional benefit. Even the Ascendant Lord Saturn becomes the Lord of 12th house and thus becomes the Lord of an inauspicious house. In a similar fashion, the Lord of the 5th house, which is responsible for giving all the benefits, all the fortune, becomes the house Lord of the 8th house as well, that is Mercury, which is the Lord of the 5th house, becomes the Lord of the 8th house as well, for the native of Aquarius Ascendant or Rashi. Therefore, the Mercury is also in a state that it cannot deliver complete benefits to the native of Aquarius Ascendant. As per Vedic Astrology, the Lord of a Quadrant and Trine House is called the Raja Yogadipadi. For the native of Aquarius Ascendant or Rashi, Venus becomes the Lord of the Ninth House, which is the Quadrant House, and it also becomes the Lord of the Ninth House, which is the Trine House. However, Venus becomes Padagadipadi, for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. Therefore, the planets such as Saturn, Mercury and Venus, though they deliver benefits, since they also become the lord of the inauspicious houses, the major planetary period of these planets will deliver a blend of good and adverse effects. Therefore, only for the native of Aquarius Ascendant no planet is responsible for delivering purely the benefits. Based on the planetary position, though these planets deliver benefits, it also delivers adverse effects. This is the rule of Vedic astrology. If you ponder the intricacies about why it is so, though as per the natural zodiac, the house of Pisces is the very last house, that is the twelfth house, Aquarius is considered to be the 11th house as per the Kala Purusha Rashi Chakra. Aquarius is the house which is very far from the sun. According to the astronomical facts and concepts, Saturn is the farthest planet and the Aquarius house which is owned by Saturn is filled with a lot of darkness. 
This is why we call the planet Saturn a dark planet. Since the Aquarius is a house that is filled with lot of darkness, the planet has a tendency to deliver benefits, does not become a complete functional benefit for the native of Aquarius ascendant. The planets such as Saturn, Mercury, Venus deliver both favorable and unfavorable results for the native of Aquarius ascendant. Now let me explain about the characteristics of native of Aquarius ascendant. I can explain the characteristics in two different fashions. Though Saturn is the ascendant lord itself, when it resides alone in the Aquarius, without the connection of Jupiter or Venus or lone Mercury or waxing moon, the ascendant lord Saturn will not deliver benefits. When Saturn has the exaltation status or own house status and it resides alone without the connection of any benefit, then the major planetary period of Saturn will not deliver any benefits. Based on the above concepts, having said all these, when Saturn resides in the house of Aquarius and when it resides alone, this person will be a bit slow in action. In general, the native of Aquarius ascendant are inclined to be a bit slow. Because the house lord Saturn itself is disguised as a person who is physically challenged, who limps and this planet travels very slow. Because Saturn takes 30 years to revolve around the sun. It is such a slow planet. Therefore, the house which is owned by Saturn makes the native to be very slow. I would like to add one more point here. While the sun is the planet which delivers a lot of self-confidence, Saturn is the planet that delivers a lot of inferiority complex to a person. More importantly, the native of Aquarius ascendant will be slow and they will think a lot before doing an action. Basically, if a person thinks three to four times before doing any task and decides to do the task, they will be aware of the consequences and will make a good decision. In contrary to this, the native of Aquarius ascendant will think a lot before doing any action and they will take a lot of time before commencing an action and finally they will mess up when it comes to decision making. Let me give a simple example. Imagine a native of Aquarius ascendant goes to railway station to reach a particular destination. He will think a lot about which train he could catch to reach the destination among different choices of the trains. The native of Aquarius ascendant will not come to a decision quickly and will also get confused and they will also have a role in confusing others as well and the native of Aquarius ascendant will have a short stature. If you find a person to be short in stature, then it means that they are under the influence of Pabatwa Saturn. Please try to understand this point. With whichever Rashi or Ascendant the Saturn is connected, then such people will be short in stature and they will have a lot of inferiority complex. The planet Saturn will not be definitely Subhatva in their natal chart, rather Pavatva, and these people will be very clever in hiding their inferiority complex. They will not express it. The native of Aquarius Ascendant or Rashi will be narrow-minded, will be jealous of others, will possess inferiority complex, but they will not express it. All these characteristics or the innate nature of the native of Aquarius Ascendant. These qualities will apply to a certain extent to the Aquarius Rashi as well. The native of Aquarius Ascendant might be addicted to the alcohol consumption 
when the ascendant lord saturn remains without any subhatva their determination will last until the evening that is they will be very determined that they should not drink alcohol they should not consume alcohol but once the sun sets they will be all set to consume the alcohol and they will be ready to enjoy the evening party the saturn which remains without subhatva and when it is connected with any lagna then it lets the native to have the ability to forget about the promises saturn is the planet that makes a person to forget about the promises and lets a person to be out of control and pushes the person to get addicted to the habits therefore when saturn has got pabatva strength then the native of the aquarius ascendant will possess the qualities that are not really necessary for a human being and they will envy the other people and more importantly nobody can read the mind of the native of aquarius ascendant you cannot identify whether the person really loves or cries you cannot read the mind of the native of aquarius ascendant from their face because they will be totally expressionless if you observe a person who does not express their mind from whose face you cannot read the mind then the person will be the native of aquarius ascendant and saturn will be pabatva for them in their natal chart or otherwise saturn will be in connection with the ascendant and the saturn will be a pabatva saturn there is a tamil proverb agathin alagu mugathil theriyum that is in english it translates as the face is the index of the mind this cannot be definitely applied for the people who saturn is pabatva and is in connection with the ascendant you can observe that the face of such a person will be like a statue we cannot really identify whether the person cries or laughs whether their mind is happy or sad such people will not express whatever they have in their mind or in their heart and their face will be like that of a statue these people will try to spend their time in solitude such people love the solitude and they will not share their feelings with anybody these people will try to fetch all the details from others but they will not share their own details with anybody such people are highly possible to be the native of aquarius ascendant or at least the pabatva saturn will be in connection with their ascendant for the native of aquarius ascendant the functional benefits are venus mercury and saturn in my last video itself i have mentioned that these functional benefits that are venus saturn and mercury cannot be a complete functional benefit for the native of aquarius ascendant let us now see which planets are completely unfavorable for the saturn sun and the moon are the complete functional malefics or the enemies for saturn in vedic astrology saturn is depicted as the son of the father surya the saturn treats its own father surya as an enemy the reason is that saturn is a dark planet and the sun is a luminous planet in order to make us understand the concept of enmity the vedic astrology have depicted the surya as a father and the saturn as his son saturn is depicted as the son of the luminous planet surya and another luminous planet moon this is why we say for the native of aquarius ascendant they should never undergo the major planetary period of the sun and the moon based on the concept that the malefic should be in the quadrant and when these planets are in the quadrant 
then the major planetary period of the sun will be okay to a certain extent. But for the NATO of Aquarius ascendant, when they undergo the major planetary period of the moon, then they are considered to be unfortunate. Already I have mentioned this point that for the NATO of Aquarius ascendant, the major planetary period of the moon will be an unfavorable one. If only the moon, the lord of the 6th house, resides in the 3rd house, 6th house, 10th house or 11th house, which are called as Upachayasthanas, then it also remains as Subhatva, then it can deliver benefit to a certain extent for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. In general, if the native of Aquarius Ascendant does not undergo the major planetary period of the moon, then they are highly fortunate. The major planetary period of Jupiter can deliver certain benefits because Jupiter becomes house lord of both 2nd house and 11th house for the native of Aquarius ascendant. The major planetary period of the Sun, Moon and Mars which accounts to 23 years will be unfavorable for the native of Aquarius ascendant. That too, if the native of Aquarius ascendant undergoes this belt of major planetary period during their very prime age, that is um, middle age, then it will not deliver benefits for them. Rather, if the native of Aquarius ascendant enjoys the major planetary period of Saturn, Mercury, Ketu and Venus, then it can deliver a lot of benefits for the native of Aquarius ascendant. Having said this, the native of Aquarius Ascendant who were born with the major planetary period of Saturn, Mercury, Ketu and Venus, then they are considered to be very fortunate. And if Saturn is Subhatva for the native of Aquarius Ascendant, then the native will incline to take the profession Sadar signified by the Saturn. In case if the Saturn is in connection with the 10th house or if it is the highest Subhatva planet in the natal chart, then the native of Aquarius ascendant will incline to take the profession related to the significance of Saturn. The professions that are signified by Saturn or the jobs that are done with a lot of patience, iron, garbage. Professions that we really hesitate to express to others. Liquids, that to the liquids that are not edible like petroleum, petrol, acid, the black colored products, products related to petrol, black color, tar, etc. These professions will definitely deliver benefits for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. In case if Venus is the highly Subhatva planet, in the natal chart for the native of Aquarius ascendant, then they will be inclined to do the professions related to the significance of Venus, such as textile industry, travels, textiles, restaurants, etc. This will definitely deliver growth in the life of the native of Aquarius ascendant. Despite all these, when Saturn gets exalted in the house of Libra, for the native of Aquarius Ascendant, they are unable to do a permanent job. Though in certain Granthas it is said that when Saturn gets exalted in the 10th house, it is called as Sasa Yoga. If only the Saturn has Subhatva or Sukshma strength, then it can deliver benefits to the native of Aquarius Ascendant. I would like to mention one important point for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. In any situation, the native of Aquarius Ascendant will be highly spiritual. These people are the great achievers in doing sadhana. When the Ascendant Lord Saturn is Subhatva or with Sukshma strength, then they will definitely have great interest or they will be highly inclined to worship Lord Shiva that is signified by Aquarius. 
Therefore, when Saturn is Subhatva with the connection of Jupiter and gets Sukshma strength by connection of Ketu, then the native of Aquarius ascendant for the people who are really spiritual. These people are true spiritual people. They are not fake spiritual people. These are the people who really have passion in worshipping God and they will attain the highest state in spiritualism. These are the people who always seek the help of the Almighty in any crucial situation. These are the people who are really spiritual people. Whatever the religion is in the world, the great Jagat Guru, the true saints, the sages, the ones who attain salvation, the ones who attain the Almighty will be the native of Aquarius Ascendant and who Saturn is strong and with Subhatva and Sukshma strength. Therefore, the native of Aquarius Ascendant will reflect the best qualities of Saturn or the worst qualities of the Saturn based on Subhatva and Pabhatva level. Spiritualism is not an easy task. No common man can attain the fruit of the spiritualism. This particular state is definitely delivered by the planet Saturn. In case of Saturn is Pabhatva, then it delivers a mindset which is very poor than the usual like delivering inferiority complex etc. I have explained both the qualities, the good and the bad nature of the Saturn. In general, the major planetary period of Venus, Saturn and Mercury will deliver benefits to the native of Aquarius Ascendant and the professions related to the significance of these three planets will improve the life of the native of Aquarius Ascendant. They will definitely have a satisfactory financial life. When the native of Aquarius Ascendant chooses the profession related to the significance of the Sun, Moon and Mars, then the earning will be enough only for fulfilling the fundamental needs or basic needs of the life. These are the general characteristics of the native of Aquarius Ascendant. There are two different poles of characteristics that Saturn can reflect. One is spiritualism and another is a very poor mindset. In my next video, I'm going to explain about the characteristics of the house of Pisces, which is the very last house in the natural zodiac. And I'm going to explain the effects of different planets in the house of Pisces. Needless to say, I'm going to share much more intricacies of astrology. Well, this is question time. For the native of Aquarius Ascendant, will Venus, which is the house lord of the 4th house and the house lord of the ninth house, function as complete functional benefit? Yes or no? Please write your answer in the comment section of this video. The link of the Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available only for Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.